The St. Vincent Bearcats closed out the 2011 regular season with the annual Green Game, hosting Bethany College at Chuck Knoll Field. The game remained scoreless until past the midway point of the first quarter when the Bearcat defense got the team on the board. Pass offense and third down convergence. Grimard fakes to Walker, looking left, throws, intercepted, David Rebell. He's going to the house for six, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. David Ribeiro jumped the route on the left flat, the right flat of the Bearcat defense. That's how the defense stems the tide of the emotional change. You come up with a big play, and you put your, you put your offense in a position now to say, hey, guys, you can settle down, play our game. However, the lead lasted only one play. Porter from the right hash kicks it down the hash. Holmes fields it almost in the middle across the 20, heading left side across the 30. Look out, 35, 40, 45, 50. Holmes is going to return the kickoff for a touchdown. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. No one's going to get a hand on it. Ed Holmes returns the touchdown about 80 yards for his score. And just like that, the Bison are an extra point away from tying it up. In the second quarter, the Bearcat defense continued to shut down the Bison offense. Receiver left, Grimard awaiting the snap, gives on the inside zone to Ira Zeri, and there are the Bearcat green clad jerseys. Dominic Morrell and Evan Lucas, two down tackles, stuff it up. Ira Zeri lines up off of right tackle and takes the handoff from Grimard coming left. Penetration by Tom Makowick. The freshman from Pittsburgh Central Catholic will stop Nico Irizarry for a loss in the play. Wins to both sides. Grimard on second down and long to pass. Scramble, sack, sack, sack. Anthony Johnson, Alex Zipanovich. The early portion of the third quarter brought more of the same. Back is Grimard on second and long, pressured, scrambles this way, pressured again, hit and sacked by Punko. Another Bearcat freshman defensive end, Pat Punko from Pittsburgh Central Catholic. Lost now back to the 42. With five minutes left in the third, the Bearcat offense kicked into gear. Bethany with man coverage and a safety over the top. Moving their linebackers around. Smetanka throwing on the rocket screen to Rogers inside. Gets a block across the 45 here. Andre 50, 45, 40 down the middle of the field. 30 to the 25 to the 20. All the way down to about the 16-yard line. He made a big play in the first half, Jim, on a run after a catch. And Rogers was rumbling there. And tied at 7, 4.06 to play in the third. Ball in the middle of the field. Douglas wide right, Sutton slot. Side end on the left side, Smith. Hand off, Eric, inside and out, trying to bounce it to the boundary. Huey to the 10, to the 5, touchdown, Bearcats lead it. Huey Eric, 17-yard touchdown run. Early in the fourth, the Bison came up with their biggest offensive play of the day. Irizarry to the right of Grimard. Snap back, Matt looking this way, pump fake, going to try to air it out downfield for Powell. He's past Mahelko, catch, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Bison. Double move. 49, 51-yard touchdown pass from Matt Grimard to Daryl Powell, and just like... With help from the offensive line, Huey Errett then turned things back around for SVC. Left, Weaver and Errett in the eye. Errett takes the handoff straight ahead. He's got a gap, 45, 50, 45, 40 down the sideline, 35, and all the way to the 32-yard line before he is tackled there by Joyce. First and 10 of the Bison, 32. Eye again, tight end left, same play. Errett off the left side, hurdles to the 30, breaks free from a tackle, 25, 20 down the sideline, 15, hit out of bounds there. I mean, they get it. Errett now. 100 yards rushing on the afternoon. That's his second 100-yard game of the season. Split in right flanker to the left from the near hash. Rogers motions to the right. Weaver and Arid in the eye. Arid again coming left, turns it inside. 10, 5, trying to get there. He's in. Yeah, Three carries for Huey Arid and a Bearcat touchdown. Yeah, it's exactly the same play, exactly the same location. They've discovered a weakness by alignment and personnel. And... That was good coaching on the part of St. Vincent. Late in the game, the Bison had one last chance to even things up, but the Bearcat defense would not let that happen. 
Split back, shotgun from Gamard from the left hash, looking left. Fakes coming back right, looks back left, nobody open, throws now in the end zone. Intercepted, Dan Murkowski, and he's running it out. Up the sideline to the 15, it's out of bounds. It was a two-man route, Jim, only a two-man route. He, he, he looked back over, he tried to come back to this side, to the right side. It was covered, he went back away from it, he came back to it, and Murkowski saw the quarterback just followed his eyes and was right there for the pick. 